Hey, what's up guys? Doing another video today. I did one yesterday. You can see the screen here. This is from my last video. I'll put that in the cards up there, wherever. If you wanna go check that out, that one was about making parallax map in RPG Maker without any plugins. Today, conversely, I am going to show you how to upload one of the plugins that I just updated. I have a plugin that I created here in itch. So if you go to mygamestudio.itch.io here, this is my itch page here. I got a lot of good stuff on here, but the thing I want to talk to you today about is this remove text outlines plugin. I actually just updated this to work with RPG Maker MZ. Previously it was only really set up for MV. It's a super simple plugin and Basically what it does, you can see in the screens here, it removes the default outlines on text. Now it doesn't work for all text, for example, it will not work on your main title text and some other specific areas within RPG Maker's UI. But if you want that look, it's very simple to implement. Uh, you're welcome to edit it as long as you still give me credit for making the original plugin. And I'm gonna just really quickly show you how to install a plugin because ironically, I, I realize a lot of people don't even know how to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I have RPG Maker open here. We're gonna go ahead and download the plugin. You just go ahead and download here. Right inside this number, when you download my plugin, make sure to um, put a really big number. I'm not gonna do that because, you know, I, uh, I already, you know, I don't want to donate money to myself. I'm just joking. You can just click no thanks and download the plugin for free because I'm a good guy. Okay, so I downloaded the plugin. I right clicked and said show me the file, which is right here. So what we need to do is we need to put this in our plugin directory. This one right, this, this little guy right here. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to get to our plugin directory, we go to game, open folder. This will open this directory. This is the base directory, the root directory of our game. From there, you go into JS here and then into plugins. And then you drop this file here into this folder, like so. Boop. Now, I already have this file in here. so. I'm just showing you how to do it, but for you it won't save replace file. And then you come over here once you've done so, and you click this little puzzle button. That's the, the puzzle piece. That's the RPG Maker plugin manager. And this won't be here, but you just click name, and then you, if your plugin is in the correct folder, it'll show up here. And then you turn it on. There are zero parameters on this plugin, so you cannot use any, there's no like settings, you just put it on and it'll remove, it'll remove the outlines for you. If you want to see what that looks like in MV, I mean in MZ, it's really not super obvious. But you can already see here the text, it has no outline. And in the menus, the text has no outline here. Now, just so you can get a reference, right, let's just pop it, let's just turn the plugin off real quick, so you can see the difference. Now, if you look at the text, I didn't really show you in the menu, but if you look here, you can see there's like an outline around this. It's, it's a super minor, especially because the outline is actually the, very similar to the color of the background, but it's definitely different. Like if you look at the, the words, there's now no outline around it. Now this is a stylistic choice. For most games, you might be in danger of compromising your visibility. So you want your font to be really readable. So you know, it's up to you how you do it, what choice you make, but it's a really easy plugin to install and try. And if you don't like it, just throw it away. If you do like it, make sure to donate me like a million dollars. Okay guys, it's been a good little quick video. I think this is the fastest video I've ever made. So I'd like to do more content like this. If you like these kind of short videos, make sure you subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, hit the like button, help me with that, alg that algorithm, that SEO YouTube algorithm. I am um, trying to hit 400 
followers by the end of the uh, year here, 400 uh, YouTube s subscribers. So if I could do that, that'd be really great. I got like maybe a week and a half left. I think I can do it. I got eight more to go. So let's see. Let's see if we can make it happen, team. I'll check you later. Farewell. Good night. Bye bye.